for five hundred dollars. I will, I will slide the five hundred like this. I will be on a car for crew. I will be. Been somewhere before fighting over crab legs, drama on the Facebook page. Y'all acted a mother full in this show. Mm -mm. What is up, YouTube family? Long time no see. Jamo Fiasco here, and I'm back on another cruise with another video. This time is the vacation version of it all. I haven't introduced him to the vlog yet. We just started dating like a couple months ago. So you already know if I like somebody, I gotta drag them on a cruise to see if I really, really like you. Oh, oh yeah. We also have the cheers package. My first time having cheers. Got my first one. We have to pay taxes while we're in port, but it's like 74 cents. I'm excited. We're on a three days. I wanna follow the booze cruise on Carnival Liberty. Price is right and you know, it's right down the street from the house. So we just got up this morning and headed out to the port. I don't know what I'm gonna call him just yet because nobody really knows his name. I've been keeping a hush hush because I've just been enjoying this little bubble and this little world that we've been living in. Just keeping things private. It, you know protecting our little bubble but maybe i'll just call him like i don't know we're just gonna call him b he's on a business call right now on vacation on a call so you gotta admire the dedication once b's off this call we're gonna get him a drink let him de-stress Back with the creepy hands again. The bar is really huge. Do y'all know how I did this ship when I turned 31 to two years ago? I'll be 33 in a couple weeks. Never been in here with the lights on, and I don't think I realized how big it is because when it's like the camera. Oh, okay. You were looking at me, so I was looking at you. He hasn't seen me vlog yet, so it's kind of awkward. Anyway, so when it's like light, you're like, oh shoot, this is actually very, very big. I think it's really funny though how it backs up into the arcade back there. But I'm just trying to show B the ship and got a second drink. And I'm feeling kind of peckish. So I feel like I need a burger and then we'll head off. And celebrate party starts at 3.30 too. So let's see how that goes. dinner drinks but I'm spilling it all over the place. I think we have steakhouse reservations at 7, 7.30. I don't know. We don't see it showing up on our app thing. So we're just gonna go back to the room, get ready, and then show up around 7, 7.30. Hello, I'm about five drinks in right now. We're about to head to dinner, I'm trying to drink Red Bull to stay up. We're gonna go to check in for dinner around like 7, 7.30. I'm pretty sure I did it for around then. 7, 7.30, what time is it back? It's 50. They'll let us in, regardless. I already paid for it. So, we good. We let him slap with that. We let him slap with that. That was weird. Like she was like 16. No, she was 15. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. In about three that. years, Holly be my. Yeah, that's Yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. We were at the Alchemy Bar earlier, and like the ship is swaying, but also we are on the first floor right now. We don't put nothing down here, but. Further upstairs, you feel it like you know, the higher up decks you go, you do feel it more. We're so close to the water level right now, we don't feel it, but this is what the water looks like. Very quickly heading off to Nassau. with the lobster to surf and turf like I usually do. But they wouldn't give it to me, which is fine. That's fine. Because I wanted it with lamb chops instead of the filet. They said no, and I said, okay, I'll pay for it. But then they gave me two lobsters. And I was like, ooh, they want that. So B got the other lobster. So that worked out well. Okay, right, let me eat. Be back. Dinner was good at the steakhouse. Charged me extra $23 for that little piece of overcooked lobster. Oh, 
B said it was mid, so. That's what I was calling you B on the vlog. I didn't know what to call you, so I called you B. He said it was mid. It was kind of mid. It was all right. First steakhouse, it was all right. I'm full, so it did the job. I didn't drink at dinner, so now it's time to drink. She was kind of rocking, just a little bit. But we took our drum meet last night, so we all right. My first time at the piano bar. Always wanted to come, just never made it. Good morning from a very, oh, I was going to say sunny. It's kind of cloudy Nassau, and apparently it's cold outside too. It's like 70 degrees outside. I did not leave Orlando for this. But nevertheless, we're going to go out in a bathing suit, and we're going to hope that it's warm. Like it was yesterday, leaving Orlando. It was breezy, but the sun felt fine. I don't know what we're going to do today. I think, uh, hit the beach, babe, for a second. You don't want to hit the beach, but I want to hit the beach. That's why I put this shirt because I want to. I gotta touch some water. But it's about 10 something right now. I think majority of the people are just washing outside. I think they're getting off the ship. So we're gonna go eat. We get a blue iguana burrito, my favorite thing. The masses get off, and then we don't have to be back on board to 6:30. It's just plenty of time, and I don't think we'll be out there very long anyway. But that still has a new port. I'm looking at it. Looks really, really good. Only completed construction, but I'm hungry. Let's go eat. I came back to the room because I had to poop. After breakfast, we ate breakfast, got blue iguana, and I was sitting there and I was like, ooh, I was like, my stomach kind of hurt. And we're not there yet for me to be pooping in a room with him in here. So I was like, I am going to go to the room and um, I'll see you in 10, 15 minutes because he's like, oh yeah, yeah, go do your thing. I gotta go find him now. We're texting on WhatsApp just like literally a second ago. So now I gotta go find him. I don't know if he likes cruises or not. I'm trying to figure that out if he likes it. He said he's trying to enjoy it because I enjoy it, but Yesterday, I saw his eyes about to bulge out his head. There's a lot of people on this ship right now. It's a completely full ship. At some guys that worked here in the elevator last night, and they said along with crew on the ship, it was like 1,200 crew. There's about 5,300 people on the ship right now. And you could tell. And because we're cruising, because tomorrow's Easter, there's a lot of kids. The kids on the ship, they're kind of overwhelming. Like even this morning, we're trying to eat breakfast, and there's kids literally running in circles around our, ta around our table. Not around the table, the people that were with around me and B's table. To the point he's like, we gotta get up and go. So we walked all the way to the back of the show, but it was like nobody, it was quiet. He was like, okay. And I said, hey, like next time we decide to do a cruise, I think it will behoove us to spend a couple extra dollars and go on Virgin, no kids. And just the, um, the clientele on the ship. I love my carnival though, I love my people. So yeah, let me go find him. We still got cheers, baby. <laughs> it's time to get this $200 worth, I think yesterday. Yes, if we drink way more than what had been the $70 a day. Let's go do it again. And then we're gonna get off the ship eventually. It's kind of cool outside. It's like a cool 73. It feels okay with the sun, but it's partly cloudy. So the sun disappears behind clouds and like I literally get chilled bums. But all right, I'm rambling again. Let's go find them. Number four, what word starts with an E, ends with an E, and usually contains one letter? Um, Envelope. Envelope. Period. 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 Forward, I am heavy. Backwards, I am not. What am I? Time. Time, yes. Good job, babe. The correct answer was one. I told you. I said just mm. one. Yes. We got that. It the biggest thing of all this, as we're still sitting here playing trivia, is that we came out here for a drink. We came out for a drink. About three hours ago. It's 2 10. Came out here after breakfast at like 11 something, 12. And we were still up here playing trivia. I'm not even, this is not a complaint. This is a while. We've been having fun playing trivia. Something that I don't really do. Like on one of my cruise vlogs, like I did like Office trivia on a six day cruise. On a three day cruise, you expect that. But in the meanwhile, we'll do one last trivia. He just did NCAA, and then we're gonna do Motown, and then we're gonna get off the ship for a little bit. It's cold. We wanna get off the ship to say that we were here. Like, oh my God, it happened tomorrow's our last day already. Is that Motown? No. We don't know this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not uncle for this thing in the corner. All right, let's see how we do. I'll check last. back in. Last, wait. <laughs> Be 
this in. We said we were playing trivia for three hours. Bay said he was gonna oh. win it. Okay, medallion. <laughs> baby, come look. It's a frog. Look at it right here. It's like a horror movie. It's a frog, baby. He done cleaned up. He did good. I don't know what he did, but it looks so much better in here. After playing trivia for three hours, that was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. And after having drinks every 30 minutes, I feel very, 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 very good. The time has come for us to get off the ship for just a little bit. Um, I think if we have a drink at Senior Frogs, that'd be okay. It's very cool outside. So you want to see me with a jacket on because, you know, as they say, it's cool by the water. We got to be back on board by 6.30 anyway. And it's like almost 4 o'clock, right? Uh, I think what time it is. Yeah, it's almost 4 o'clock. It's 3.39. I really want to do the um, Mean Girl trivia. I think it's only right to get off the ship for a little bit. Let us step foot in Nassau, Bahamas together for the first time as a couple and go see Nassau. I'm not drunk, but I'm kind of tipsy. We got off the ship and it's so cold. Well, so much for our spring break, March vacation. Cause I'm pretty sure it's warm in Orlando right now, but we're gonna let that one fly. Because right now we're at Senior Frogs. Here's some more adventures together. Where's your Kelly here? <laughs> Just giving beer. That's all y'all can see. Salud. Period. That's it. Probably can't see me very well, but very short time in Nassau because I've been here like a thousand times already. But I did get a, a, a magnet for the first time ever. My first magnet from Nassau after like 13, 14, 15 visits. But heading back to the ship, eat, drink, and be merry. To get ready for dinner, a nice elegant night. Tomorrow's already our last day. Very, 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 very quick cruise. I'm so grateful that we live here in Orlando. What the trivia guy said, he's like, oh, you live here in Orlando? You drove very far, aka an hour. Fun little weekend, over Easter weekend. Let's head back to the room, take showers, rest up, go to dinner, and then let's see what the night takes us from there. After playing trivia for three, four hours. <laughs> that was fun though, I had fun. Wait, deck three, four. We're trying to go to dinner very late. two family here chasing the Crawfords. We're gonna go ahead and get them a, a shout out. Shout out to your channel and all that. Chasing the Crawfords. Now I'm gonna link them down in the description box down below. So please check out the channel. They're also vlogging this trip. They probably get their vlog out sooner than mine. <laughs> so their vlog will be linked down in the description box below for sure. Have not been on the vlog much because we've been drinking this. Freaking cheers program will really mess you up. So I'm sorry, y'all. What did we do? To dinner, went to Alchemy. We went to a club for a little bit, got tequila sodas and got waters. We heard Luther's song playing. So we came down to where we were at earlier. We're trying to make sure our Spotify works where we go back to the room and have room service. And tomorrow's already, that quickly, our last day on board. Our game plan for tomorrow, and I'm saying this on the camera, and I'm also saying this to him, wake up. We're gonna go to brunch. We have a couple of mimosas. We're not gonna black out early. I wanna sit out by the sun. I'm gonna read my book. I'm sure he'll read out his book in the shade somewhere. Somewhere. We got a couple of things on the planner for tomorrow. I don't remember everything. It's more on his planner. I think it might show up on mine, but just to give you guys a recap on the day. It was cold in Nassau, but we had fun at Senior Frogs and everything too. Yeah, yeah, it was dope. Overall, I think a good day. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been better. Like, I, the weather was just like, it was so, so it fucking was, cold. And, it was cold. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to convert him to a cruiser. He said he said he's enjoying himself, but he doesn't like cruising. But I try to remind him, I'll say, this is a three day, it's a booze cruise, it's a weekend cruise. We got to try a version. We got to do like no kids. Right. I think if we were to do this again, because y'all know Ari like cruising, obviously. But if I was to do this again with him, we will do it on version, all adults. And it's a different vibe, it's a newer ship, it's updated. Um, he doesn't watch my vlogs, so he doesn't know what to expect on version. Okay. Yeah, because he didn't know what to expect. This is his first cruise since 2002, which is like a world away. This ship that we're on right now, to give you context, was not even built in 2002. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You're right. No, yeah, you're right. yeah, you're the ship right. was built in you're 2004, right. so when he went in this, when he did his last cruise, the ship was not even built. We're in a living right now. I was like, oh, Y'all have Wi-Fi now? 
<laughs> like, oh, there's Wi-Fi? I had to tell them, like, pack your patient. Pack your patient for the first day. And because yeah. it's a three-day cruise, it's like everybody's trying to get everything done in a short amount of time. Let's go get some room service and braid up my hair, and we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Even though I just say goodnight, I'm being dragged back to the casino. So let's let's go. Just for a little bit. I'm tired. And I'm gonna get some food. Tell me if I'm right for feeling this way. I'm gonna show y'all what the problem is, and then I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. But just if I'm wrong or if I should be neutral in the situation, please let me know in the comments below. But just tell me, okay? Let's go see. This is my door. I'm gonna open the door. This is our room. That is not our food. We have not been in this room since like 8.30. Why is there a half-eaten burger outside of our room? Now tell me. Just Jay, just let it roll off your shoulders. Why would y'all put that outside of my room? Why would y'all not put that outside of your room? Why is it outside of mine? I could be, I could be tripping. If I'm tripping, let me know. I take judgment. I don't like it. And it's okay not to like things. But for me to come back, I almost walked past my room because I saw the food sitting out there. And I had to walk back. I said, wait, I'm 1267. Out of all the doors that you could have stuck it outside, why outside my door? Stick it outside of yours. All right, let's order some room service and we'll be back. I'm here to say, my hair is braided. Room service. That means that we're wrapping up day two of our three day cruise. And we'll see you tomorrow for the last and final day, RC day. I'm also very tired. See you tomorrow. Very good afternoon YouTube. Last day of the cruise already. This is probably gonna be the shortest cruise vlog because this is literally the shortest cruise I've ever been on it. I'm not quite sure what I've been doing besides drinking this cheers package, been slowly kicking our butt. I would do it for a short cruise again, but for longer cruises, there's no way because I would feel the need to try to hit at least six drinks a day to make it worth it. And that's not smart. Probably about 12 o'clock right now. We've been basically just stopped in the middle of the ocean. It's probably not in the middle. I think I was like last night, while we were sailing, I can kind of see like the coastline. The water looks like literal glass, my favorite thing. Um, just basically off the coast of Florida. I think we're just gonna hang out here for the next couple hours and then sail to Port Canaveral throughout the night because I'm sure we're not that far away. Just look at the map. This is where we're at. We've been hanging out here, just off the coast for, since, I don't know, like eight o'clock this morning. B just texted me, he let me know that it feels really good outside. So bathing suit's on, I have my book. I've been reading this, I've been trying to tr trust through it. Not that it's like boring. I'm halfway through it, that's my little bookmark. Funny enough, it's a virgin bookmark because I started on my last cruise. But yeah, he said it feels good outside, so let's go find B and enjoy this last couple day hours in the sun. better than being cold in Bahamas like it was yesterday. And remember how I said we were like docked off like the coast of Florida? In the background you can literally see Miami. It'd be nice to uh, sail and have like a breeze up here because it's, it's quite hot. Alright, I'm gonna go back to reading my book and drinking and we'll check back in with you later. Hours and hours and hours later. I'm back to the room to take a break now. It's supposed to be for an hour, but it was really like two. I'm up here sitting at Serenity Deck, laughing at the drama on our cruises Facebook page. Now you know when you like go on a cruise, you can go to this Facebook, you search your ship's name and the date of your selling, and you'll find other people that go on the ship. I'd like to see in advance what type of people I'm gonna be spending my time with on the ship. Kids on the ship are bad. They running around screaming. It, it, they're insane. I know. I sell during Easter, during spring break. These kids bad. Like top lip girl bad. And there's a couple people commenting about it on the Facebook page. Honestly shocked. And these are like experienced people say I've been on X amount of cruises. I've never seen no kids like this. Blah 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 blah. So people are complaining about it. But then this one lady writes back. She's like, baby, I don't know why I'm enjoying my vacation. Not y'all should too. Somebody said that's the attitude of somebody who lets her kids run around wild. At least now we know these three-day cruises. I'll call them a blues cruise. I thought it'd be like more adults or maybe even like college age kids, but those college, those spring breaks might be over. Now we know. Oh, he just won the little spear thing. Like literally the second try, I think, right? And it just dropped. You just look, you got the shakes shaking and stuff. You got the <laughs> and we're like, I'm at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I hear everybody screaming, right. it was him. Yeah. 
yeah, I think this is a wrap on our three-day cruise, our booze cruise. It was very interesting, yeah. and I can't say that uh, I will do this again. Because I got to tell y'all how they're fighting over crab legs. Drama on the Facebook page. This might have to be a post-editing J moment. I got to talk to y'all because some stuff has happened and it's been very interesting. But we here. We made it. It was fun. What's the saying? It was real. It was fun. It was real fun. Or I like to say, I like to say it was real, it was fun, it was not real fun. I quit a job like that when I left the advertising agency. It's how you feel. I say it was real and it was fun, but it was not real fun. And that's how I can wrap up this cruise. It'll be version for now because y'all acted the fucking fool in this ship. I had to get up with fuck and I ain't like that. We had to do better. Fighting over crab legs and kids on Easter weekend. Come on. Mm-mm. Okay, now that I'm home, I'm ready to talk about what the heck happened on this carnival cruise this weekend. I would never again sell on a three-day carnival cruise, especially not during holiday weekend, especially not during spring break. Now, there's a couple different instances. Me being platinum, I'm able to board the ship using all these special lines, like platinum, diamond, and like people that purchase faster to the fund, they could do it. I board faster for free, where I just get regular lines. Now, already boarding, this guy was behind us, like, we all go to the same place the whole time, like, you... you you think he's special because you get to skip? Unclear if he was talking to us because a woman behind him answered. But he was talking about us. You know, we got clocked it, but we said we weren't going to address it. We're also able to take our bags to the room, whereas other people have to, like, wait to 1.30 to go to the rooms. So we're able to go right down to the room, leave our bags to the room, and then go on about our business, which is what we did. And I was asking, like, who I went with, did you did you hear the guy? And he was like, yeah, I heard him. I was like, okay, just make sure I wasn't tripping. So that was the first incident, right? So for those that don't know, when you go on a cruise, usually somebody that's on that ship on that particular selling will create a Facebook page. So for ours, we had a Facebook page and of course I joined because I kind of like seeing who I'm selling with, you know, just because. And on the Facebook page, and this is only a three day cruise. Why was there so much drama? So by the second day, people say, hey, can y'all like control your kids a little bit better? Like they're up here dropping stuff from the first floor to from the top floor to the first floor in the atrium. Mom was hitting me and my family. Um, the kids are blocking stairwells and they're not moving. We can't get around them. Maybe when we ask nicely and say, excuse me, they're pressing all the buttons in the elevator, then hopping off the elevator. So you're stopping on every single floor. Like, can you reel it in? I thought pretty polite. And it was kind of stuff that I've noticed too. Like, like I said, the kids are just running everywhere. And then like this one lady gets on, baby, I don't know why you worried about anybody else's vacation because I pay my money. It's like you paid yours. So baby, because one thing I'm going to do have a vacation and not worry about nobody else's kids. It was probably your kids that was up here running around acting a damn fool, but... Next, there was a whole bunch of kids on the ship, which is to be expected. It's Easter weekend, and it's spring break. That's totally fine. <laughs> but it's like these parents didn't care about these kids, like, screaming, yelling, whatever. We're trying to eat breakfast out in the Lido deck, which is probably our first mistake. And there's a set of two kids, young kids, running around our table. Not running around their parents' table, where they were sitting, or their family's table. Running just around us two, sitting at a two-top table. Why? You, I get it. The kids are on vacation. Let them have fun. But it's disruptive to other people. And you know, if you ever been on a cruise, you know, everybody's trying to get breakfast in the morning, especially on a port day, everybody's trying to get off the ship. It's very much packed. It is so packed. Why is your kid running? People walk around with trays. He was letting them just run in circles. We immediately had to grab our food and go to way the back of the ship where there was like no kids and way more quiet. And I was kind of like, whew. Okay, let all these people get off of Nassau. We even got to get off the ship. I've been in Nassau so many times, we even got to get off, right? But nonetheless, it's the last night of the cruise. We're trying to celebrate our first real vacation together. He did really well on the casino. We're trying to celebrate. So we go to the casino bar. There's a lady sitting next to me. She's telling somebody with the blue card. A blue card means that you've been in your first carnival cruise. This is your first one. She's like, if you go down to guest services, you can remove the gratuities because people with the cars were complaining because everybody got their bill that night. Oh my gosh, they charge it for gratuity. So the lady tell them to go down to guest services and have them remove it. She's like, yeah, I do that every cruise. I'm not paying for that. Um, and like, why would I pay that for the kids? Like, why would they not have a half off? My kids hardly in the room. Now, mind you, the gratuities go towards the people that clean your room. The kids were at least sleeping in the room every night, using up towels and stuff. And it goes towards the people that serve you in the dining room. Those people split that. I always like to prepay mine because these people work really hard. It's only $16 a day. I think it equaled out for the both of us to be $98 for the both of us for three days. Why would you remove that? Why would you? Ooh, that made me so mad yesterday. And then the crab leg story yesterday was, I'll, ooh, 
All I wanted to do yesterday was lay out, read my book, eat crab legs. I got to do exactly that. I already knew that the crab leg place closed at a certain time. I got in line and then like maybe eight people behind me, the chef says, hey, like you are going to be not talking to me, but talking to the person. Hey, you are going to be the last person I have a chance to serve in this line because it takes a second because they're cooking the fruit fresh, right? That's all I wanted. This lady comes up and she stands in line and he says, so sorry, ma'am, like the line's been cut off already. So we can make sure we can get everybody's orders in. That's not what the app said online. That's not what it said. See, y'all like, why y'all be lying? Y'all MFers just cursing out the chefs. And like, we were all in line looking at each other like, and we're kind of like laughing because she's going in and saying, can I speak to your manager? Where's the manager? Where's the manager? And at this point she moves by the cash registers. You can't even like order your food because she's asked for it. Y'all call the manager yet? You call, just being. She thinks people are laughing with her. No, we were laughing at you. Because why are you acting like, oh, she's being so loud. Like, we were kind of waiting on the shelf just to call security. But he didn't. And at this point, he rewards bad behavior. It's like, go ahead and stand in line. Like, go ahead. I'll get you. It's okay. And so then, like, somebody says something to her in line. Like, hey, like, you know, it wasn't really that serious. Like, can you, like, calm down? You being all loud. Like, why are you acting like this over some crab legs? And then the lady goes off on her. And mind you, the lady that said something to the lady going crazy was standing in front of me. So then the ladies behind me acting a fool. Baby, I don't fight. I, I, I don't fight. And I don't care where you international waters or not. Because if you try to swing on her and you accidentally hit me, baby, I hope you have an excellent lawyer. Because I'm going to lay out. I'm going to lay on the floor. You, you getting sued. I don't know what kind of job you work, but <laughs> you, getting, you getting sued. I'm suing you. Because why are you fighting over crab legs? Like, can you be better? Don't ever try to fight me because you're getting sued and you're going to jail. You're going to jail. So that was going back and forth. So they arguing over crab legs. And I'm just like texting my mom. And I'm like, oh, my God, never again.